Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss the indices part 3. Okay, for indices part 1 and part 2, I actually make the video and you can refer to my previous video. So today I will focus on indices part 3 whereby you have to uh, factorize the terms in order to make sure you will get one term at the left and one term at the right so that uh, they are having the same base with one term left and right and then you, you can equate the power so that you can solve the initial equation so let's get started with the class right now have fun Now let's see question number one. You are given two power p plus two power p equal to two power k, right? So for this question, you have to factorize the two power p. You take out the common factor two power p, and then bracket, and then inside the bracket, actually, you know how to get the one. You just take two p divided by two p, okay? Because when you factorize, the balance should be after you divide okay you divide by 2p so it's 2 right 1 plus 1 so if you times 2 so it will get 2 power k so that means you're having the same base right now 2p plus 1 equal to 2k right so then you will have the same base left and right after you factorize so the question asking you to write p in terms of the k so then hence you will write Okay, P in terms of K, right? So you just focus to the P plus 1 equal to K and then you bring the 1 to the right hand side. So left the P alone. So P stand alone. That's called P in terms of K. So that means P is K minus 1. Alright, so this is how you solve the initial equation that you need to factorize. Okay, so this is called type 2. For type 1, you actually just make the base the same and then you equate the power or the index. And for type 2, you have to do some factorization before you can equate them. Okay, for this question also the same now. You have been 2 power x plus 4, right? Minus 2x plus 3 equal to 1. So for this question, you have to do, uh, as we call it as pen first. So 2x times 2, 4. You know in form 3, lower form, you have this formula, right? Same base, your teacher asks you to plus with the power. Uh, come to form 4, you must know how to reverse back. So when the power is plus, you must know how to expand like this with the two base, okay? 2 power x times 2 power 3 because there is a plus, okay? So then you, you will factorize, you can see the common factor 2x, right? So you factorize the 2 power x. And then the balance will be the number, which are 2, 4, and 2, 3. Alright, so you write 2 power 4 actually is 16, right? And minus 2 power 3, which is 8. 
okay so we we want to get the number or the balance so you just divide by 2x every term so you get the number 2 4 minus 2 3 so which is actually the balance after you divide by 2 power x okay so then it means that uh, you are having the indices and the number so 16 minus 8 right is equal to 1 so 2 power x okay uh, is an index number so now we remain the index number then the number like 8 and 1 we simplify first so 2 times 8 equal to 1 right that is 8 ma. right so 8 is 2 power 3 equal to 2 um, power 0 as is 1 anything to the power 0 is 1 that means you can just simplify like x plus 3 equal to 0 then x equal to negative 3 right all right so you can just solve the equation writing the uh, equation so that you can plus the 3 x plus 3 equal to 0 and then x equal to negative 3 or else you can say that 1 over 8 right 2x equal to 1 over 8 then 2x equal to um, 1 over 8 will be 2 negative 3 so end up you'll get the same answer right for question number three, uh, you notice that all the patterns are the same for this uh, part two in a uh, part three indices equation. Okay, so we have two three x equal to eight plus two three x minus one. So now you see you have the uh, two three x. Okay, that one is okay. You have two three x minus one. So when you have minus, we always dy. Remember, so you have to work uh, backward uh, this way. Okay, you apply the formula backward. So for indices, we always can apply forward or backward. So when there is a minus, we divide. So this one is 2, 3x equal to 8 plus 2, 3x over 2 power 1. So the negative become positive, right? And then we bring all the 2, 3x to one side before we can factorize, all right? So now we will try to factorize the 2, 3x. Okay, uh, before that, uh, we just simplify as 1 over 2. Okay, 2, 3x is actually 1 over 2 times 3x, 2, 3x. So you can write at this. You bring everything to the left for the... Because we, we need to solve the unknown. So the unknown must go to one side, right? That is the way when you solve the equation, right? So now you have, uh, you have to factorize 2, 3x. Okay, and minus half of the 2, 3x. Okay, so for you to factorize, you can just take out the common factor 2, 3x. And the balance is actually 2, 3x divided by 2, 3x is 1. And then half divided by that, you will be getting half. Okay, so now the balance is 1 minus half is a number. So, okay, uh, I just want to explain to you how to get the 1. You divide by 2, 3x. So when you factorize, actually that is the concept. The balance inside the bracket is after you divide by what you factorize. Alright? So you will get 2, 3x times half, right? 1 minus half is half equal to 8. So then 2, 3x equal to 2 times 8 is 16, right? Okay? So 2, two times 8 is 16. Is 16 is 2 power 4. So you can just equate the 3x equal to 4. And then you will solve the x right okay so when you factorize you will join them okay you can see the tiger and the bear join together so we say we join them so that we can solve join into one okay let's see this question express 36 and then 2 power m minus 2 plus 2 power m plus 3 minus 2 power m in the simplest form simplest form that means we have to join all the terms so that we can get maybe single term all right so let's see so when you see 2m minus 2 you will write dy isn't it so it's 2m over 2 2 make sure the m you raise uh, up a bit okay uh, mine is too low so uh, write properly the index so that you won't confuse so it's uh, 2m Okay, you take out the common factor. So balance is 36 over 4 plus, okay, you divide by 2m, right? So you can cancel out like that. So this one also divide by 2m. So you cancel out, you get the number 
as a balance so 2 power 3 is there and then 2mo 2m is 1 now you can simplify the number uh, 9 and then 8 and then 1 so it's 17 minus 1 so you will get um, 16 and 16 is 2 power 4 right so it's 2m times 2 power 4 so you will get 2m uh, yeah 16 is 2 power 4 so finally because we want the answer in index form uh, as a simplest form so we will write 2m plus 4 okay okay in the simplest form so the simplest form is actually means that if possible is single term one term all right so it's 2m plus 4 is the answer for the simplest form okay so again you see we join all the uh, so many terms into one term so it become very simple simplest okay it, it looks like uh, you simplify the three terms into one term so it it is so called as simplest form all right okay understand okay now we proceed to the next question so for the next question is also a same pattern so we will actually simplify but then after you simplify you have to show that the expression is divisible by 7 for all the positive uh, integ integer values should be integer values i think typing error okay so at the same thing we will actually expand first to n times 2 1 plus okay you remember again i write the formula for you a m plus n equal to a m times a n so it's 2 n times 2 1 plus 2 n plus 2 n okay when uh, minus we dy isn't it okay a m minus n so you will write plus 2 n over 2 1 right okay then after that uh, you see you after you uh, expand then only you will factorize all right you can write as 2 times 2 negative 1 is okay but there is a negative 1 2 negative 1 it means 1 over 2 so it's better to write over 2 power 1 okay so now we will simplify by factorize okay factorize so you will take out the 2 now i explain to you 2n plus 1 is 2n times 2 1 2 power 1 and then 2n minus 1 is actually 2n over 2 power 1 okay understand so now i will write 2n uh, i will factorize the 2n so the balance are the number so it's actually after you divide by 2n you get 2 plus 1 plus uh, 1 over 2 right okay that is the number left over how you get the number you divide by 2n every term okay all right that is the meaning of factorize okay after that you will just sum up all the number right okay settle we have identified all the number already now we will add up all the number you got 2 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 so it's 7 over 2 i'm so happy to see there is a 7 why because the question asks us to show that is divisible it is divisible by 7 that means you must have multiple of 7 multiple of 7 means it must be 7 times uh, a, a things 7 times something okay so the something is 2n minus 1 so if you can get 7 multiplied by something that is actually uh, so called as multiple of 7 so when you get a multiple of 7 for the positive value of n you can substitute for n equal to 1 okay if n equal to 1 you will get 7 times 2 power 0 which 7 right 7 isn't it multiple of 7 and it is divisible by 7 right or when n is equal to 2 you can substitute you'll get 14 and equal to 3 you will get all the multiple of 7 so we will write a sentence to explain our answer okay we because we get 7 multiplied by a uh, 2 n minus 1 so that show that we are getting a multiple of 7 all right so if you having the multiple of 7 
Hence, it is for sure divisible by 7. Okay, understand? Now, we go to this question. This one looks a bit challenging. So, uh, you look at that, you actually uh, actually not sure how to do, but you try to make it uh, light term so that you can simplify. So, now I think we stick to 4x, 4 power x, alright? So, 4 power x plus 8 times 2, 2 is 4 power x, right? Then, minus 4 times 4 power x minus 4, 0 equal to? zero so i bring everything to one side first so because i'm not sure uh, how to figure out the um, problem first so um now i look at that i got four power x so i'm going to factorize the four power x so i will get one as a number eight and then minus four and then four power x equal to 40 so hopefully later I can simplify the number. Yes, I got 5 times 4x equal to 4, 0. So that means 4x equal to 8. Yes. So I'm getting which is base 2. Okay, 2, 2x equal to 2, 3. So 2x equal to 3. So finally the x is 3 over 2, right? Okay, so that's how you solve the the initial equation involving plus and minus so you have to factorize all right after you factorize you will join them together just like tiger and the bear right they are joining into one family so we join into one term so three into one one term at the left and one term at the right then you can equate the power the index Okay, let's see this question. 4 power 2x equal to m and 4 power y equal to n. And then uh, 4 power y plus 2x equal to 9 plus 16x. Express m in terms of n. Okay, now we will start with the 4. 2x is equal to m. 4 y equal to n. Now we start from that question. 4 y plus 2x equal to 9 plus 16x so I'm going to expand 4y plus 2x uh, I will have to write into multiply right so I write 4y times 4 power 2x equal to 9 plus 16x 16 maybe you can write as 4 power 2x right okay so that you can see like term yes so we have 4 power 2x so we will substitute with the m because the given is 4 to x is equal to m and 4 power y is equal to n. Now you can start to substitute according to what is given in the question. And then I think after you substitute, you will have m times, uh, you have the n times m equal to 9 plus m right so the question one express m yes so m must go to one side so mn minus m equal to 9 so you have to factorize your m it become n minus 1 so then hence m is equal to 9 over n minus 1 so that is so called m in terms of n okay so when m in terms of n that means m must be alone at one side Okay, settle. Now we go to this question. It's also almost the same. 4m plus 4m equal to 4n. So you factorize. Why you factorize? Because there is a plus, right? I already mentioned to you. When there is a plus or minus, can you see the cloud there? Plus, minus. Okay, plus, minus, we factorize. Huh? Remember? So 4m, then 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Okay, so you got the 4n, so that means you have the 2, 2m times 2, 1 equal to 2, 2n. So 2m plus 1 equal to 2n. Hence, we want the m in terms of the n. So you bring all the n to one side, m is equal to 2m minus 1 over 2. Alright, that's so called m in terms of the n. Okay, set the now we will try another one uh, because uh, if you keep on practice you notice that it's very easy for you right 
So for this question, it sounds like very easy. 3 power n plus 3 power n minus 1. So you will write as 3n over 3, 1 equal to 12. So 3, 1, normally we don't write the 1, isn't it? Again, you can see there is a plus minus at the cloud there. So you need to factorize. So you will factorize a 3 power n, right? So it becomes 1 plus 1 over 3 equal to 12. So then you have to simplify your 3 uh, power n. You can just uh, put aside. Okay, I'm explaining to you how you get 1. You just divide, right? So you get 1. Uh, 1 is actually 3 over 3. So 3 plus 1 is actually 4 over 3, right? Then you can simplify with a 12. So 3n times 4 over 3 equal to 12. So now actually you can cut the 4 and 12 is 3. So uh, it's okay, up to you. So you can write as 36 over 4 which is 9. So 3n equal to 9 and then 3n equal to 3 power 2. And then n should be equal to 2 because we are equating the index when we have one term at the left and one term at the right. Okay, again, we can see there is a plus, right? So whenever there is a plus or minus, we need to factorize. Remember, this is very important skill in initial equation. So firstly, we will see uh, 2, 3x is a like term. So, okay, so we will actually write 2, 3x over 2, 1, right? Later. Now, let's see how to work out the answer. So, I actually will bring all the unknown to one side because that is the way when you want to solve any equation, the unknown must go to one side and then you have to simplify the unknown. So, this one I will write over 2, 2, 3x over 2 equal to 1 over 16. We leave it first. We don't do anything first. So, now we factorize. We get 1 minus 1 over 2 right equal to 1 over 16 so now you get 2 power 3x 1 minus 1 over 2 is 1 over 2 right is equal to uh, 1 over 16 then you can times the uh, 1 over 16 with a 2 you will get 1 over 8 1 over 8 is 2 power negative 3 right so then you can write 3x equal to 2 power negative 3 then hence x is negative 1 right because negative 3 divided by 3 okay so the answer for x is negative 1 so settle we have solved the initial equation for the same pattern for type 2 when involve plus or minus we have to factorize right okay so let's proceed to the next question for this question we actually um We'll bring all the unknown to the left. So we have 3 power 4x plus 1. We will write as 3 4x times 3 1 minus 3 power 4x over 3 square equal to 26. And then we will factorize to join them in become one term. So we have 3 minus 1 over 9 equal to 26. Then if you solve the 3 minus 1 over 9, I'm sure you'll get something to do with 26, right? So it's 27 minus 1, 26, yes, over 9. So happy to see 26. So now we'll cancel out the 26. So it becomes 3 power 4x equal to 9. So 3 power 4x equal to 3, 2. And then 4x equal to 2. Then x should be equal to 2 divided by 4. So hence your answer for x is just 4 divided by 2, alright? Okay, that's all for today's class. I really hope that my sharing do help you in preparing for your STM exam next year. Till then, I should see you in my next video teaching. Bye-bye, have a nice day.